you'd like to speak to the Chief Executive of the AFL, Andrew Dimitri, give us a call now. 9690-693-131332. Andrew Dimitri, good morning. Good morning, Neil. I have an email and a photograph of a player card. Mm. Matthew Pavlich. This is sent to me by Matthew, who is 10 years old. Mm. I thought I'd let you know how stupid the AFL can be. <laughs> I've attached a copy of an AFL footy player's card that you get from things, potato chips, CCs and Samboy. I have collected stacks of them. I use my pocket money to buy them from the RSL when my dad has a few pots. <laughs> Have a look at the back and the background of the card. Tell me, it's Matthew Pavlich. What do you think the background is? Um, having looked at this now before we started, it looks like a, a awfully like a rugby league or rugby union field. Um, so I'm not quite sure. I don't even know if we are responsible for this, but I'll take the blame now. Well, um, yeah, might, well, you'd have to authorise it somehow. They wouldn't be using Pavlich's photograph without you. Oh no, it's certainly his photo. But whoever decided, uh, whichever brainiac decided, he put a rugby league on the background. Now is obviously going beautifully. Adrian Anderson knows the difference between... Oh, he does, religious. he does. I don't think even Adrian would accept this responsibility. But I will take the responsibility and deal with it. Can I take this? You can. I'm just having a look at it in glorious colour there. I, I don't know if any other players... We'll look up some other players and see if they're all the West, uh, the uh, the Frio players yeah. opposing in front of the rugby game. It'd be good if you could, now, because there'd be probably two or three people out of a job when I get to work. You'd be grumpy about it. No, no I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll look into it. Uh, well, if it was caught for illicit drug use, uh, it wouldn't affect... Um, uh, his his right to win the Brownlow Medal. I mean, the illicit drugs uh, are not performance enhancing drugs. If he is caught using illicit drugs on match day, he would certainly be affected because that would uh, mean he would get a two year suspension and then be ineligible for the Brownlow Medal. Okay. okay, thank you, John. Thank you very much. On the drugs issue, uh, Jeff Kennett raised it yesterday and said, I Is it correct that for the if you're caught for the third time, which is the third strike, and I thought it became more public and yes. you were penalised, if you in fact agree to go into rehab that you don't have to uh, be named? Uh, no, that's entirely up to the doctor's discretion there and I'll give you a, a scenario. You could have a player, for example, who's volunteered uh, to go into rehab. They uh, may have other issues other than uh, those that we may think are related to illicit drug use. Let's call it depression for this argument. Um, they may have uh, gone to their club doctor and said, I've been tested and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to test positive. Uh, and then that afternoon, because of the randomness of the testing, uh, on the same day, they might be tested again. And I'm pretty sure a doctor would, uh, in that case, particularly if they're dealing with another issue, would say that they're pop they could have tested twice for the same, uh, you know, for the same uh, illicit drug use, and therefore they wouldn't record a third strike. What if I record a third strike over a period of time? Is there any way I can negotiate out of a position no. of having my name declared and the other penalties? No, because uh, well, it's been very clear, but it's been made clear by our drug experts now that um, you do need to have a consequence at the end of a period of time. And uh, in order for this, this policy to work, and we think it is working, uh, there must be a consequence at the end of, the, in the end of that time. And as you know, uh, we've got suspensions at the end of that time. Um, the player would be named, they'd have to front a tribunal, they'd be dealt with. You see the Geelong advertiser in blue and white today, yeah. isn't that beautiful? It is, and uh, they're a very fine newspaper, and uh, I'll send a cheerio to Mark Gardy, the uh, managing director, who I know quite well. And uh, a Collingwood joke at the top of every page. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Mel, um, this Friday night's game, tonight's game, has got an air of a grand final about it, because I've found long lost friends this week looking for tickets. And uh, seriously, we could crack 90,000 tonight. And I, <coughs> I did see Stephen Goff yesterday at a, a function at Richmond, and the ticket sales are really, really strong, and there's a huge anticipation around this game now. It's a great, great clash, and live. Terrific. How did you manage that? Uh, I didn't. There was, I think, Better Homes and Gardens has gone into a hiatus for a week now. They're just growing their pot plants and their and their potty mix and things and their utensils. They've downed them for a week. So it was a Channel Ten, a Channel Seven decision. Was it? it was a Channel Seven decision. Uh, who's going to win? I actually think Collingwood are going to win because I think they are a really, really good team now. I think they're a really good team this year. Premiership favourite? Well, if they win tonight, they will be, but um, it's a long year. Um, but look, they are shaping up as a really good side this year. Collie Wobbles? No, I don't believe in Collie Wobbles. Don't you really? No. How many flags have they won in 52 years? Uh, two. All oh, right. 51 years.
won. <laughs> How can they claim to be the greatest club in history? They've won one flag since 1958. Well, you have to put that. Melbourne's to, won you have more to than put that. that to Eddie. Well, Melbourne's one of the great clubs now, yeah. and they're on the way back. Yeah. I've been fascinated by the, the discussion about Ben Cousins and how he beat the system and how he never tested positive and. Um, you know, what sort of testing regime we've got. The fact of the matter is that Ben Cousins, um, uh, when we brought Elders a drug policy in, he'd been, as he, by his own admission, had been using illicit drugs for a number of years and we weren't even testing for it. And the only reason that we were able to ascertain that Ben Cousins had a problem is because we introduced a illicit drug testing regime outside of competition and he missed training. And it was, the illicit, it, was the, it was the illicit drug testing regime that forced him to miss training. That's how we uncovered that he had an issue. Well, because he was worried about getting caught. That's exactly right. And um, if it wasn't for that testing regime, we may never have known. So uh, I don't subscribe to this theory that Ben Cousins uh, beat the system. The system was, was only in for a year before we discovered it. And if Ben Cousin, if we had had this system in 10 years ago, we would have known a lot earlier. Take Johnson out of it because it's still nothing sure. true on there, but Matthew Stokes was. Now, that, that stands as a strike against him, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But it's, it isn't it inconsistent because he's also been penalised. There's plenty of people walking around with two strikes who haven't had that penalty. Well, you've got to remember, Neil, if you look, if you look at the, the in, in both the Stokes and Johnson case, the club, and particularly through their leadership group, sat down and determined a sanction for that player because it wasn't just that they'd been caught in possession or, uh, of, of a drug or that in the case of Matthew Stokes was alleged that he was trafficking. It was because, as the club said, they'd broken team rules, they put themselves in a position where they had a poor decision-making uh, situation occur and on that basis they let their team down and the club, through its players group as well, were disappointed in that and sanctioned him. So. You know, these weren't sanctions from the AFL. We didn't sanction them for weeks or whatever. These were sanctions from the club based on team rules.